And um, a lot of the participants of Puel are vol volunteers that have been part of this circle previous to this whole issue. So we've been in this um, field of work for some time now. And um, we're here to make sure that people understand that there is a way and there is a solution. Um, the name Pueo, as I have mentioned previously, because a lot of people are upset that we use that term, Pueo. To be honest, Pueo came before perpetuating unique educational opportunities. And the reason why Pueo was chosen was because of a certain um, thing that happened. In my family, which I learned through my oldest brother, we have a very close connection to Puel. Not any type of Puel, though. Two Puels. It's seen two Puels at the same time. My gra grandmother had figurines in her house of these two white Puels. And growing up, I never knew what it meant. I didn't know what it, uh, what it meant until my brother told me about it. Prior to convening and becoming perpetuating unique educational opportunities, there was an event that took place at our learning center in Kyokan. As I was coming to open up the learning area in the morning, I like to get up early and I see Mauna Kea purple. It goes through a different phases of coloring in the morning. I opened up the front entrance door to the halal and there were two puels in the house flying around. All the windows were closed. I, I couldn't understand how they got in. So I opened up whatever windows. There's a east side entrance and a west side entrance to this facility. The two puels didn't want to go up. They encircled the room and then I remember sitting down and just, I know as a native Hawaiian that when you see these types of what we call hoailona, they mean certain things and we got to be aware and sometimes you don't really understand what it is until a couple of days down later, or, you know. But eventually I watched these two owls and eventually they flew off. But one flew out, out of all the entrances to fly out, it flew out the main entrance of the east entrance. And the second owl flew out to the west entrance. So the flight pattern of the puel is very significant too. And so I taught on this for a couple of weeks. I actually videotaped some of it. And a lot of the people that is members of our board, some of them I've never met. I've never known Lincoln Ashida, I've never known Newton Chu. I heard of Richard Ha, I know Uncle Pat. I never knew Bill Brown. But for some reason, we all shared the common interest that at the center of all of this was our appeals and our youth. And not only our youth, because there's a lot of local people on Mauna Kea and around Mauna Kea and in our businesses, our local businesses. So respect goes two ways. I am who I am today. And I'm the same person. How I was raised. We were raised in a Christian family. You know, but I, I don't go to church or, or, you know, every Sunday. My mom is very spiritual. My family is very spiritual. But, you know, my, my spirituality as an individual, um, I can connect. 
and you know this whole deal of um, being a cultural practitioner. Um, I don't really like that term because for many of us, I mean, you cannot get a degree to be a cultural practitioner. You just got to grow up and live doing things, you know, that you're going to remember and you're going to continue throughout your life. If we're practicing new things, then it's important to say it's new. And respect be given to that. But my practices within me, you know, I practice on the mountain. And like I said, Mauna Kea is the Ahu. It's, we, we're on it right now. Wherever I go on this island, you know, the, the mountains, all the mountains, it's very significant. All the places are very significant. And um, I respect everyone. <laughs>